Hi, it's Molly Feeney with Just Pause Training and welcome back to Just Pause TV. Today we have little Minnie, a little Shishan that is here to help us demonstrate people setting up the crate in their house, introducing your crate to your puppy for the very first time. Lots of information out here, so we're going to do this in three separate videos. So for those of you that are interested in staying tuned, you can follow us in a little sequence. But right now we're just going to show you where to set it up, how to set it up, and how to get it introduced in your puppy's world. So. Minnie here, I'm going to kind of grab something to keep her busy while I help set this up, giving her a little chew stick. So three different sizes of crates. The average person will pick a crate that they think that their puppy should be able to kind of set up like a, an apartment or a condo. Let's not even bother with that. You need to set it up as if you're looking like a little nest, like a little den. If your dog was on a ranch or a farm, I can guarantee they're not going to be just laying out in the middle of the sheep and the cow. They're going to go find a little den, they're going to nest in, and they're going to burrow down. So that's what we're going to try to simulate in your puppy's world. Okay, so I would guess that this is a pretty typical size that most people would pick for a dog her size. She's able to go in, walk in, turn around. Now, if she was here for the first time, she might soil on one side and sleep on the other, and you'll wake up in the morning or that evening, come home from work and be like, why is my puppy soiled? Because you have some super soft, cool bedding in here that simulates a little grass or a little outside dirt. So let's move over. This is not the size that I would start her in. Let's move over to the berry kennel. This is the pretty typical berry kennel, plastic kennel. So Minnie, come on out. So if you look at this and just have her go inside, it's not very inviting, it's plastic, it's hard, there's nothing inside, but I can guarantee that this will be a place that she can learn to go in, settle down, hold her bladder, because she's not going to have a place to wee on one side and sleep on the other, but still to me this is very uninviting, it's plastic, it's scary, it's hard. So again, what I'm going to try and tell you what I've told you a million times is let's create a little den, a little nesting area. So I'm taking a nice little blanket. I'm going to put it on the outside, not on the inside, but put it on the outside. Make it a little bit more cozy inside there, a little darker. I'm going to see if I can get her to come back out. Come on, Minnie. Minnie, Minnie. Come on, let's go. Here we go. So these are the chew toys that we've talked about before. Make sure you have plenty of those that you put inside and allow her to go inside. It's her favorite chew stick, as you saw inside let her do the work let her have fun with this you should just be setting up this as a little play area for her so she goes in does her little thing she spent a lot of time here this is quite a bit for a puppy that doesn't really like the crate or the kennel save this size for a later date maybe she'll grow up and she'll be able to fit in this as she gets a little more mature but right now at 16 weeks she's probably learning to hold her bladder a little longer than six seven hours so um, she's enjoying it in there. We've got success already. So this particular one, I'm just going to pull this forward, would be a great one for traveling in the car. It's tiny. I mean, she can just go in, turn around, and lay down. Great for the, getting to the vet or to the groomer or to grandma's house, or whatever you need to do. This is a great little um, hard plastic travel one. Um, so this we can move back. Again, we're going to focus on the one that works best for her. If she can hold this through the night, and you feel like, wow, I'd like to put some bedding in, then I would go get her little baby blanket and I would put it inside and try it that way. Again, keep it covered. If you have a little white noise, I always tell people either a little fan, some people have a little motorized something. This is the fan, typical little fan, and it fits right on, so on top. Just turn it on one level. I'm not blowing it on her. I'm just using it as like a little background, a little white noise. Kind of like a car ride. So that was perfect. We'll turn that off so you can hear me a little bit better. But again, set this up. This is all you need to do. Basics 101. Make sure that you feed your puppy in here. You can put the food in the back. Do not close the door during this training thing. Just let them go in and explore. Do this several days before you decide you're going to lock them in here and disappear to go to work or the grocery store. Um, make sure you, you spend a lot of time getting her used to coming and going. And once you do close the door, you kind of come and go. Don't just grab your keys and leave or just have a little panic attack. So take your time with the crate. Stay tuned. We got part two. A few more tips for those dogs that have a little harder time even getting in and adapting to this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you out there.